Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 572, Rapid Review. What is fibrocystic change of the breast? Fibrocystic change of the breast is when there is a non-cancerous breast lump, which can sometimes cause discomfort. These lumps are usually related to hormonal influences from the menstrual cycle. What lab or diagnostic finding is observed with fibrocystic change of the breast? In fibrocystic change of the breast, there is mammary gland with blue dome cysts. Name all the conditions that can lead to monoclonal antibody spike. Monoclonal antibody spike can occur in multiple myeloma, in which there is usually a spike in immunoglobulin G and immunoglobulin A. It can also happen in monoclonal gammopathy of undetermined significance as MGUS. Monoclonal antibody spike can also occur as a normal consequence of aging. Monoclonal antibody spike also occurs with Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia in which there is an increase in immunoglobulin M. And lastly, monoclonal antibody spike also occurs with primary amyloidosis. What is Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia? Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia is a cancer of the B lymphocyte, which is a type of white blood cell, and this is associated with overproduction of proteins called immunoglobulin M antibodies. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.